So, ang lesson natin ngayon ay tungkol sa addition of similar and dissimilar fractions. So, unahin natin yung addition of similar fractions. Ano ba mas similar fraction? Ito yung mga fraction na parehas ang kanilang mga denominator. So, meron tayong video about kinds of fractions. So, kung hindi mo pa siya napapanood, click the description box below and watch the video. So, in addition of similar fraction, pag ina-add natin, ang gagawin lang natin ay ia-add ang numerator and then kukopyahin natin ang kanilang denominator. Example, 2 fourth plus 1 fourth. So, sila ay similar fraction dahil parehas ang kanilang denominator. So, add the numerator, 2 plus 1 is 3 and then copy the denominator, 4. So, our final answer is 3 fourth. Next is... 8 over 10 plus 1 over 10. So, add the numerator. 8 plus 1 is 9. Copy the denominator 10. So, our answer is 9 over 10. Another example. So, we have here 8 over 12 plus 2 over 12. So, again, add 8 and 2. 8 plus 2 is 10 and then copy 12. So, the answer is 10 over 12. Pero hindi pa yan ang ating final answer kasi kailangan natin siyang i-reduce into lowest term. So, paano ba tayo nag-reduce? Hahanap ka lang ng greatest common factor ni numerator at denominator. So, meron din tayong video tungkol sa greatest common factor o GCF. So, nandyan din siya sa description box. Pwede mo siyang panoorin. Greatest common factor ni 10 and 12 is 2. So, i-divide natin both numerator and denominator by 2 over 2. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, our final answer which is reduced on the lowest term is 5 over 6. Another, 3 over 24 plus 5 over 24. So, i-add lang natin ang numerator. 3 plus 5 is 8 and copy the denominator 24. Again, hindi pa rin yan ang ating final answer kasi kailangan natin siyang i-reduce into its lowest term. So, ang GCF ni 8 and 24 is 8. So, i-divide natin both numerator and denominator by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1 and then 24 divided by 8 is 3. So, our final answer is 1 third. So, ganun lang kasimple mag-add ng similar fraction. Add mo lang yung numerator, copy the denominator at kung yung answer mo ay kailangan i-reduce, i-reduce mo siya into lowest term sa pamagitan ng pagdi-divide both numerator and denominator ng kanilang GCF. Now, let's proceed on addition of dissimilar fraction. So, kapag nag add ka naman ng dissimilar fraction, ito yung mga fraction na magkakaiba ang kanilang denominator. So, para ma-add sila, kailangan gagawin mo silang similar fraction. Paano mo sila magagawang similar fraction? By getting the LCD or least common denominator. So, halimbawa, 2 third plus 1 fourth. So, as you can see here, C3 and C4 ay magkaiba. So, yung denominator nila ay magkaiba. So, ito turn natin sila into similar fraction by getting the LCD. So, paano yon? So, merong isang paraan or traditional way para makuha ang LCD sa pamagitan ng pagtitingin sa kanilang multiplication table, katulad nito. So, Sa table of 3, meron tayong 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18, and 21. Sa 4 naman, meron tayong 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So, kukunin mo lang yung pinaka-list na common sa kanila. List common multiple. So, ang ano yun? Yun yun ay 12. So, imbis na 3 and 4 ang ating denominator, gagawin natin silang parehas na 12. And then, para makuha natin yung new numerator natin, ito yung mga steps. Una, dun muna tayo sa first um, fraction, 12. So, itong 12 na to, ay divide natin doon sa ating original denominator na 3. So, 12 divided by 3 
is 4 and then the answer we will multiply it to the numerator so 4 times 2 is 8 so yun na ang ating new numerator ng first fraction natin. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin process dun sa ating second fraction. So, yung second the 12 na denominator, i-divide natin kay 4. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then, mumultiply natin sa ating numerator. 3 times 1 is 3. So, ito na yung ating new numerator. So, ito ang Bagong set natin ng mga similar fraction, yan na yung ating iaan. So, 8 plus 3 is 11 and then copy the denominator 12. So, our answer is 11 over 12. So, wala naman na yung lowest term. So, ito na yung ating final answer, 11 over 12. Another example ulit. So, kung meron naman tayong... 3 fifth plus 2 8. So, ganun pa rin. Hindi natin sila pwedeng ipag-add kung magkaiba ang kanilang denominator. So, gagawin natin silang similar fraction by getting their least common denominator. So, yon Yung way na pangkuha, ito nga isang traditional way which is titignan mo yung kanilang um, multiplication table. So, si 5, ayan yung kanyang multiplication table at ganun din si 8. So, titignan lang natin yung pinaka-least number na pareha sa kanilang dalawa which is, kung makikita natin, ay 40. So, yung 40 ang ating new denominator ngayon. Okay? And then, para makuha ang ating new numerator, ganun lang, same process, katulad ng kanina natin. So, 40, i-divide natin dun sa dati nating denominator na 5. So, 40 divided by 5 is 8. And the answer, we will multiply it to the numerator. 8 times 3 is 24. Next is, Ganon din, 40 divided by 8 is 5, and 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, and now we can add um, these two fractions. So, 24 plus 10 is 34. And then, copy the denominator, 40. This time, kailangan na natin siyang i-reduce into lowest term kasi merong pang factors, si 34 at si 40 na pareha. So, divide natin siya into their greatest common factor which is 2. So, divide both numerator and denominator by 2. So, 34 divided by 2 is 17. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So, our final answer is 17 over 20. Okay, so last example tayo. 5 over 6 plus 2 fourth. So, dissimilar fraction pa rin. So, gagawin natin silang similar fraction by getting their least common denominator. So, kung makikita natin yung table 6 and table 4, ang kanilang least common denominator dyan ay 12. So, ang ating bagong denominator ngayon ay 12. So, ganun ulit. Para makuha ang numerator or bagong numerator, same process, 12 divided by 6 is 2, and then multiply natin sa numerator, 2 times 5 is 10. On the other side, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and then multiply it by 2, 6. So now we can add 10 plus 6 is 16. And then, copy the denominator, which is 12. This time, pwede mo siyang gawin, uh, pwede mo siyang i-lowest term. You divide mo both by greatest common factor. Pero, as you can see here, yung fraction kasi na ito ay improper fraction. Makikita natin dyan na mas malaki yung numerator kasi sa denominator. So, ang pinakasimple yung paraan dyan ay gagawin natin siyang mixed number. I-apply natin yung division. So, nag-divide ko na yan. Provide ko na lang sa inyo yung picture. So, ito yung itsura, di ba? pag divide natin. So, 16 divided by 12. So, makakakuha tayo ng isang 12 kay 16 and then 12. 16 minus 12 is 4. So, makita natin sa sagot dyan, meron tayong sagot na whole number na 1. Meron tayong remainder na 4. And then, meron tayong divisor na 12. So, paano natin siya ilalagay into mix number? So, first, yung sagot mo na 1, ibig sabihin yan buo, di ba? Sakto na nakakuha ka ng isang 12. 
sa 16. So, yun yung magiging number mo sa gitna. So, mix number kasi, di ba, meron tayo tatlong klaseng number. The whole number, the numerator, and the denominator. So, yung whole number, yun yung answer mo nung nag-divide ka. Next, yung 4 naman nito, yung sumobra, di ba, ang tawag natin dyan, remainder. So, yung remainder, nilalagay natin yan sa numerator. At ang ating magiging denominator ay yung ating divisor na 12. Okay? So, ang ating answer is 1 and 4, 12. And pwede mo pa siyang gawing o i-turn into lowest term. So, ang gagawin mo lang, i-divide mo si 4 and si 12 into their greatest common factor which is 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, ang magiging pinaka final, final answer natin is 1 and 1 third. Okay.